You know what's ridiculous? I own a stationery brand and I can't find pens. I am so glad you loved last week's video. I got so much amazing feedback on it, so I'm really glad it helped you guys. I myself am in like a really, I don't know, like a weird time. I've changed my morning routine as you saw. Normally I'd get up at five and go to the gym, but now I'm doing my deep work first because I find I get so much more done. Um, and usually then I would take the kids to school. I take them into before school care which they love and they always beg to go. So it's like sweet as. I actually only started putting them in because they've been begging us to go because they have pancakes there. I dropped them off and then I got, I'm i meant to go to the gym and then come home by like 10 o'clock, 9.30 and do a work block. But I've been finding, because I'm so in the flow in the mornings and then Ryan, you know, he's um, you know winding down his business now. So he's building our house. So he's still super busy, but he's more flexible to be able to take the girls in the morning which I usually love to take them, but I've been letting him because I've just been like, i got to get this done, i got to get this done. But it's like, where does that end? Like I was saying last week's video, like, to what ends? Like, you're always going to have a to-do list. It's always going to keep going. You're never going to get to the end of your to-do list. You never want to because that means you're not here anymore. You know what I mean? And I think it's about me having the boundaries that I was talking about. I need to have boundaries in place with myself because I'm really bad at that. It is so bloody windy today. Like next level anyway so i'm really just trying to focus now on having like mini resets like i talk about and having boundaries with myself so normally today like as i so today i'm going to the warehouse i'm trying not to panic because i'm not there earlier than i'd like to be and i'm part of me is already fighting me saying like go straight there go straight to work don't go to the gym because that's what I've been doing lately. I've been still going to the gym, but not like super consistent, which is really unlike me. Even when, you know, dad passed, I only really took like a week off. When Nan passed, I think I only took a few days off because I just need the gym so much for my mental health. You know, when I first started this whole fitness journey, I went for my body, but now I go for my brain. It's like brain first, body second now. And the thing is too, what you need to realize, if you're someone who's really struggling to stick with an exercise routine or a workout routine or just eating well or just whatever it is, a hobby, your why has to be deeper than something surface level. It has to be deeper because on the days where you're tired, the days where life is hectic, if your why is just because you want to look a certain way, that's not going to, it's not going to do it enough for you. That then you're not going to be consistent. And that is why, my friends, you need to fall in love with your routine. When shit gets hard, that will be the first thing to go. And the thing is with me, I will make time for the gym. I've always been like that. And I've noticed my mental health has really been not as good lately, especially because of the gym. 
because I used to hate it and I realized I hated it because I didn't know what I was doing and then I learned what I was doing you know I, I got like some PT sessions now I'm a PT myself which I obviously don't practice but besides the health reset but yeah like you need to find something and not be so quick to to shrug it off or stop and just assume that you hate doing weights or you hate you know spin class and it might be because you're nervous you know our brain like I said last week our brain likes things that is familiar. Even when familiar sucks and it's shit and it means being unhealthy, your brain will do anything to self-sabotage you out of doing a new routine or habit. So just remember that the next time your brain's telling you, no, just take the time off, just do this. My brain, she just likes to be productive 24-7, unfortunately. She's a pain in the ass. I actually nicknamed her Jessica. Sorry to the Jessicas out there. To the Jessicas out there, you can have your, you can call your inner asshole Steph, okay? I'll, I'll let you do that. But Jessica is an asshole to me. She's the one who's telling me, skip the gym, go straight to work. Everyone's going to be angry at you. Your team's going to be angry at you. Like that's literally what goes through my mind. It's like all these anxieties and I know that they're not real and I know, but it is hard. It is. It can be so hard to figure out when it's your anxiety talking and your insecurities talking or the reality. But if you usually question that, it usually means it's your anxiety. Anyway, that was a massive spiel. What I'm trying to get at, Find your why it has to be deeper and we're going to get me back to finding myself and you finding yourself together. We're going to be setting some boundaries for me. I'm going to be stopping work by 4 p.m. today. You heard it here first, which means I've only got a few hours work of left of work and I'm going to spend time with my kids. I'm going to make a delicious burrito bowl for dinner and that's it. Anyways, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do upper body Jessica's not going to talk me out of it. I said I'm nuts, don't I? I swear I'm not crazy. Anyways, let's get out of here. down rain and I parked right up the back of the gym so I spent a lot of time doing my hair for nothing and yes I regret not using my Dyson this morning should have done that I always feel silly doing it and coming to the gym but it's because I go like straight to work and who knows when Maddie's gonna make me do a TikTok or some shit so all right I'm gonna go we've actually got a new staff member starting today in graphics her name is Chloe I'm so so excited to at least spent half a work day with her. You guys couldn't tell, I also forgot, this is TMI, but I wear nipple covers instead of like a bra ever since I got my boobs done. Years ago, I got a lift and everything because the kids, they real, they turned them into saggy socks really, which is fine, but you know, anyway. Don't know why I'm going into this, but I did forget it, so that's why I was having a fight with my crop top. Yes, because I forgot that. And then I used to always wear like active wear to work, but for me, I've spoken about this before, but like, when you dress for the way you want to feel, it really does shift everything. So I've started dressing like more businessy, more professional to make me feel like, you know, I'm not like, I'm not a mum packing planters in the garage anymore, which I miss. Like I do genuinely miss it and love it. And I'll always be that person, but it kind of helps me feel like I've leveled up and that I, you know, even can just like tell people like, can you do this? Can you do that? You know? I don't know, because I'm, I'm a massive people pleaser, so I'm not a natural, like, I feel like I'm not a natural, like, boss person, like, to be like, do this, do that, and I'll hold things, like, I'm terrible at it. I'm getting better, but I'm just, I like to make people happy, so, anyway, I gotta get in there, I gotta go, before I get in trouble by myself, I don't know. <laughs> Shelly's hidden, she's like, nah. She's like, I don't want to be in this bloody thing. So right, next episode with Ryan, you guys can be the stars. <laughs> Look at how serious she goes. She's like, no. She's like, I quit on the spot. You can be the um, the Miranda from Devil Wears Prada instead of me. Do you know how hard it was for me to pretend to be an asshole? 
It was so hard. Because I'm like the opposite of that. And I'm like being an asshole to Maddie, poor thing. Yeah, taking over. We did a like Devil Wears Prada take off. It was, sorry, so noisy. Yeah, we did a Devil Wears Prada thing. Um, cause Ryan is like phasing out of his business. He's still rebuilding in the future, but like it's gonna work for me. So we thought we'd make it into a really fun series. So I thought like, let's do Devil Wears Prada. I'll link it below cause it is the funniest reel we've ever made. And it was just so funny. And I had to be like Miranda. So like, you know, the boss out of Devil Wears Prada and how she's an asshole. So hard for me to be an asshole. We did an episode two and it's just hilarious. Like Ryan being in the business and yeah, it's good. Hello, how are you? Hi, how's your first day going? You excited to be I'm here? Very well to be oh, here. good. <laughs> yes, they're amazing. Yeah. How rainy is it today? I know. Well, it's just stopped, I think. But it was Welcome so back. Thank you. It's good to see you. Maddie, do you want a plate, doll? Oh, I'm still filming. Oh. I didn't realize. <laughs> <laughs> I was just telling her Sarah about how I've got one of the pumpers in the she's got a oh, and jacket with all like the balls on it. And I said it'd be like this. <laughs> this is like the size of my actual boot. <laughs> <laughs> Weird nicknames today. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, he does calligraphy. You should see, she's bloody the opposite of me. Isn't that the coolest? Wish I could do that. I'm obsessed with it. So clever. That. I could just watch it all day, honestly. Bloody obsessed. 10 hours later. Everyone's left the office and Katie and I are here as usual. It's dark outside. I literally put on the vlog this morning. I said I'm working at four and then I'm clocking off. <laughs> yeah, that's We're doing planners though. That's planners take happen. planners take a lot of time, don't they? A lot of time. Like so much time. Like, but it's worth it. It is so Always worth it. Left. Once you guys see these changes, you're gonna lose your mind. My trench coat, so that's why I'm wearing my gym. Jump up. Looking like a bloody hot mess today. You ready? <laughs> okay. She's like, I didn't sign up for this YouTube business. You poor thing. I can't wait to be in my new house, hey. Get all our furniture back that's sitting in the warehouse. It's like literally three quarters of my house back there. I haven't even like done half my vlog. As well, we've got an end of financial sale on at the moment. So we've got lots of orders going out. It's so cold. I have everything. Yep, phone, wallet, keys. Oh yeah, mother bag, yep. Thanks, lovely. Thanks. Oh my God. Right. Oh, so cold. I just arrived home and now the dog's out the front and she won't come in. Lily, come here. No, she's exploring. Where is she? The girl's got the little dressing gowns on, so cute. Hello. Bobby, come on. Bobby, come These on. These dogs, they're like children. They just I don't listen to you. To oh, did you? You're a good girl. I done my So shorts. cute. Lily. This dog. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm going to have to go get her. Oh. Good dog. Come back. Oh, the cheeky dog. Honestly. Cheeky dog. She is really cheeky. Cheeky dog. Cheeky. Give me back that, please. Yeah. Ha, ha. What a day. I feel like every time I vlog, everything's just oh, extra you. messy than normal. Like oh, my life. It's just chaotic. Yeah. So I have to make finish it at four. Oh, is this so? All this afternoon, I've just been really nauseous. I'm not pregnant, I just have a period. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. God, I'm just, I know, Ryan's a lucky man. I mean, look at me. I'm very beside Victoria's Secret models. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just feeling really nauseous. Sometimes I get like this when my anxiety is bad and like my nerves, because obviously we've got like 
a million planners due at once. It's a lot of work. We spent, Katie and I, we spent like, that was us the whole day. We literally spent, I think, four or five hours sitting there going through the planners. But, um, yeah. And I'm working on this other really big project that I do in the mornings, which you'll find out next year what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna unwind, do my PM tidy, my PM routine. I think I'm not gonna eat dinner for a little bit longer because I do feel so sick. But again, I think it's my anxiety. So I'm gonna like chill. And what else am I gonna say? And then I'm gonna take you guys through what my mid-year goals are. Like what I'm striving to do for this, like the last half of the year. Because there is things I need to do. Find myself again, you know? I don't know, I just feel like ever since dad got sick, I'm just like, I'm like a lost puppy. Like I just feel like my life, and I'm grateful for my life, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's not mine anymore. I don't know, I think because there's something about when you're like, I just, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. And I'm you're grateful and all the things, but I just don't feel like me. I don't know. Anyway, you guys probably think I'm crazy. I am a little bit crazy, let's be honest. This is our dining table right now, guys. So we don't have one, do we, girls? So either this or the breakfast bar. We refused to buy a dining table for this house because we thought we were going to be in four months, which turned into how long? When did we come in? January? October. October. It's after my birthday. It was like my birthday we moved here. Yeah. The kids do have this table, but they always like the coffee table, so I don't bother really decorating it right now. So that's what's going on. <laughs> doing this thing with the girls at night where I play like a kids meditation on insight timer and it just goes for like five minutes but it like I do every night I sing the exact same songs ABC and twinkle twinkle and then we do the meditation and um it really helps especially Harper to kind of unwind because she's very very hyperactive which is a whole other conversation <laughs> but um yeah it does really help <laughs> so. Well, that meditation was a bit of a failed one because when it ended, Harper got too hot and then wanted a different blanket and it was a whole thing. Anyway, it's starting to fall asleep now. Now I'm going to reset this office, clean up downstairs, clean up after dinner, and get to bed. And I got undressed in my office. I don't know why. So now I've got this big pile of clothes I have to take back to my room. I don't know why I did this. Weird. So every night I like to set out my work clothes and gym clothes. Because then at least... I don't have to come up with an outfit in the morning when my brain's not working. So I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, I had my vacuum in the back of my car four months to, to like get fixed, literally six months or eight. And it's happening with these coat hangers. So next vlog or the vlog after, probably the vlog after, I'm gonna do 
we're going to do shit together that I'll be putting off. I think that would be a great vlog so we can do it. Like cleaning my makeup brushes, stuff like that, that I just have been putting off. I want to make it a vlog. So because I'm feeling a bit anxious tonight, normally I'd go down downstairs and finish cleaning up with Ryan and then journal, but I'm feeling like I really just need to like get everything out of my head. The biggest thing I think, the biggest misconception there is about journaling is like there's this like one way to do it and it's, it's there's really literally no like set way to journal. It's just about getting, for me especially, it's about like getting everything out of my head that I'm like worried about or I'm feeling like things I have to do and just getting it onto paper. So like my journal, it's not like all today this happened, blah, blah, blah. It's like thoughts or I am like talking about a situation where I'm like, next time I'm going to do this. It's like random lists, things I'm worried about. Like it literally, if anyone read it, it would not make sense to them. And that's the thing with journaling is it's just for you and it's just a place for your brain to dump it all because you don't realize how much you carry when you don't do that. I am a much nicer human as well between gym and journaling and I didn't get to journal this morning and I noticed it today and I think that's what's really like contributed to me feeling like this tonight so you know what's ridiculous I cannot find a pen I own well I found a pen that's not a good one I own a stationery brand and I can't find pens anyways so this is why I made this journal it has all of your prompts in there and the start of it's like an intro to journaling so if you're someone that feels overwhelmed um, highly recommend. I want to get journaling with my non-SPP pen. So let's see what I wrote. My mid-year goals are having a work cutoff time. And then I wrote down, um, just like in the reset mode map and what I was talking about last week, writing the goals but actually writing the steps to achieve it so i write the goal and then the steps that i need to actually achieve that goal so to have a work cut off time i need to let the team know like so having those boundaries and saying guys this is the time i've cut off because i get the guys to do a daily wrap up so they, in notion i've got like my work set up in notion so like our tasks and stuff and reports which i built all myself anyway um so they have to send me that and i'll just make sure they send it in earlier so that I can read it and like if I'm not at the warehouse I know everything's okay I know where everything's at it just helps keep me in the loop if I'm like recording podcasts and things like that second step is to have an alarm to tell me to stop because otherwise I'll keep going then my third step for that is anything that's not done before four is like too bad too sad which is really scary to me because everything is pretty urgent all the time and is important but I need to like teach myself that like you know obviously running your own business you work 24 7 but i do need to be like setting those boundaries and then like if you don't get it done is anyone going to die number two is it really is it going to really jeopardize your business or like a campaign or whatever and if it doesn't get done too bad so that's one of those things second goal for me here is quality family time so phones down i'm going to aim for between like 4 30 to 6 or something like that or 5 30 i don't know sometimes because it's like a habit i've definitely gotten back into i used to always put my phone in the drawers in the afternoon like in a drawer and not go on it but you know i'll get random messages with work and things like that again habits creep back in i'm not perfect but that's my next goal so my three steps to do that or habits is yeah putting my phone down in the afternoons and the second one is putting it in the drawer and the third one is creating an evening focus mode. So I've done a whole screen time video on this, which I'm actually gonna rewatch for me. And I'm gonna actually make a focus mode for like family time. So it won't let me access things and things like that, only like things that I might need. Um, so maybe like a camera, like my camera app, in case the kids are doing something cute and I wanna take a video of it. That's pretty much it really. Maybe music, that's it. That's it, and then my third mid-year goal, is is to get back into my consistent gym routine. So first goal is sticking to my AM routine, like being really strict with my blocks of time. Two is treating it like a non-negotiable, like I always did. Like I acted like, for me, going to the gym has always been like brushing my teeth. So going back into that mindset. Number three is just starting out with four workouts a week. Because normally I used to do five, five to six workouts a week. And that's just, for me, that was not overdoing it. It just was good for me. So that's, that's my 
meet your goals. And I want to add in there more about like getting back on track with my naturopath and going back into supplements because that really helped me. And as you guys have noticed, my skin hasn't been the best, but I do think it's because when I'm like working in the mornings, I'm like leaning on my hands, but I do want to get my skin sorted. Um, I might be doing a house update next week. I think so, because there's been so much happening over the Pace house and it's looking incredible. We move in in like seven weeks. Like I cannot believe it. Seven weeks. I'm going to be in there anyway. Love you guys. I'm going to go do my PM reset routine, which I can do as a video as well. Um, but I love you guys and I'll see you guys on Monday.